All right, here is the story of why I quit being a PTA. The truth is, So I started the PTA program back in 2014. Well, technically I did my gen eds and then I started the PTA program maybe in like 2015. But anyways, when I started the PTA program, I had no idea that this was the career I wanted to go into. It's funny because a lot of my classmates knew from like the age of three that this was the career they were supposed to go into. They had a lot of like heartwarming stories of when they were a kid, they got hurt and they just, or they, their mom had to go to physical therapy and ever since then they knew they would grow up to be a PTA. I didn't have that at all. I was 19 at the time. I had no idea what career to pick. I chose the field based on, they make a decent salary. It's in healthcare, healthcare should be around in the future. <laughs> that was about the extent of my research of why I chose this field, which sounds super terrible. But I also enjoy the features that come with being a PTA as well. Like you get to be up on your feet, you get to be active, you get to help people. So you're making a difference in people's lives, which those are obviously <laughs> cool as well. But I didn't have like a strong reason why I chose this or why I would choose something else. Like why didn't I become a dentist? Why didn't I become a chiropractor? Like or anything else, literally, I, I don't know. I just kind of chose it, but that's okay. I became a PTA and I loved the field. I enjoy it. I realized that, wow, I'm actually interested in how the boot, the booty, <laughs> I meant to say how the body works. I'm <laughs> I haven't recorded in a while. This is embarrassing. I'm getting so warm right now. My face is red. Oh. So I was always interested in how the body worked. I always thought it was very interesting how our skeletal system is set up, how our muscles work, and how our body heals, how it functions, and that's always just been intriguing to me as I've been in the field of physical therapy. So after I graduated the PTA program, I got a comfortable job in an outpatient clinic. I finally got my like grown-up job, I felt like and I seen patients, I had my own cubicle. Life was good. And then my sister and I decided to open up our own clinic. So we worked there for a while, we decided to open up our own clinic, so we had to leave this comfortable grown-up job behind and try something new. So me and my sister both got a job in home health care, and then we also tried to build our clinic at the same time, so we did that. And around this time is when I released my first YouTube video. So it was back in 2018 is when I released my first video and it was absolutely trash. Physical therapy assistant, day in the life. Ever wonder what it's like? Well, I'm gonna be going. <laughs> it was such a bad video. Please don't go back and watch it. It was, it was terrible. But the purpose of why I did that was to help people because I enjoyed, like I had all these struggles and stuff going through the PTA program. And even before then, I was like, is this the career I wanna go into? How much do they get paid? What did they in the life look like? What are the pros and cons? So I had all these questions, so I wanted to make videos about it so I could help other people with these same questions. So that's what I did. I started making video content. Consistently, I uploaded probably once a week for forever I did that just because I wanted to help people and I thought it was fun. I really actually started enjoying like recording videos and I kind of geek out on it. I didn't know that at the time, but as I got doing it, it became like a hobby of mine. And so that's what I did. I started creating all this content. Meanwhile, I was also helping launch a clinic. So I would treat patients from there, I would schedule patients, I did all of our backend stuff, so I would help with our website, our Facebook page, I set up our Google My Business account, like all the backend stuff, make, creating videos for it, because that's what I did. And I didn't know that I'd be like grooming myself all these years, building skills that would help me out in my future. Because there came a point in my career where I had to make a decision. And Steve Harvey says it in one of his speeches he did. Only way for you to soar is you got to jump. You got to take that gift that's packed away on your back. You got to jump off that cliff and pull that cord. That gift opens up and provides the soar. He says that there comes a point in your life where you come up to the edge of a cliff and you have to jump. You have to like jump out in faith and trust that things are going to be okay. And um, that's where I was. I was at a point in my life where I started getting busier 
and getting more work with my side work because I did like video stuff on the side. I would help other clinics. I would do video work with my brother-in-law. He does video as well. And so I really started getting busier with this and I had to decide if I was going to jump or if I was going to stay where I was at. And I took that leap of faith, baby. <laughs> no, so, so I did. This is where I switched my career. This is why I quit being a PTA. I felt like when I was a PTA, I was limited in my career. So as a PTA, the only step up beyond that is becoming a PT, but that takes a lot more work. I would have to go to school longer. I would have to collect more debt. I would have to put in a lot more time all to get my degree to be a PT to treat patients. And I just wasn't willing to commit that much because I didn't know if that's what I wanted to be doing every day. Because once you commit to being a PT, like that is your career, you, you worked really hard, you have a lot of money invested in this, so you should be a PT for a while to pay off that investment, basically. I didn't want to do that, and so the only other like step up in your career as a PTA is to kind of transition a little bit, and that's what I had to do. And now I do digital marketing. <laughs> that is my career. I am a digital marketer. I help other physical therapy clinics promote their businesses through video, running ads, their website, helping them with their online presence, basically. And I also work for an, a financial investment company who teaches you how to invest in the stock market. And I do their video ads with Google ads, Facebook ads. I help run their YouTube account and do their videos, their social media, all that stuff. I kind of help with it to do their digital marketing as well. And that's what I do and I love it. And I still get to help physical therapy practices. Like I still love the field of physical therapy, but I felt like this is a way that I can grow in my career because now I realize uh, like, like when I worked at my very first job, I think back to being a PTA at the outpatient clinic, I was basically trading dollars for time. Like it didn't matter if I seen 100 people that day or if I seen one person that day. I still get the same paycheck at the end of the week. And that was that. I wanted to try getting into a career that allowed me to make better use of my time. And now I feel like I'm kind of getting there, that my time is becoming more valuable, that I'll turn down a project because I'm like, or I'll just increase my price because I'm like, I don't have enough time to take on another project, I'll just increase my price. And then if you still want the project, cool, I'll work with you, but if not, that's okay, I'm busy, I got other work. And so now I feel like I can trade my skill and my value for money instead of trading my time for money. And so that, that's a big difference that I'm, that I'm realizing that I can scale a lot better now. And a lot of people thought that the reason why I would probably quit being a PTA is because, oh no, the, the field of physical therapy is like doom and gloom. It's probably not gonna be around for a while. And that was never the case. I never felt like that. My sister like, has her clinic now that we, we started and it's running fine, it's thriving, it's doing well. A lot of the places that I help with their digital marketing are doing well, like they're staying busy. So I still see a future in physical therapy, especially with you know this older population, there's hip replacements, knee replacements. Um, I see the need for physical therapy. And you know what's crazy is I don't have a degree in the field I work in now. I just have the experience to back it up. I have no formal education in marketing or anything like that, but I have experience. And something my dad has always told me along the way is, People can fire you, they can take your job from you, but something they can never take from you is your knowledge. And that's always stuck with me. If you're going to be a PTA, learn as much as you can about the field. Learn how to treat patients the best you can. Learn how to do their billing. Learn how to schedule patients. Learn a new skill along the way, even if it's unrelated to being a PTA like I did with video, because these skills can help you out. Like the knowledge you learn from doing these things can stay with you for a lifetime. And so that's kind of the, thing I would leave you with from this video is, yeah, follow your passion. It's funny now that I've quit the career and do something different, I've been getting a lot more emails of, hey, Tony, do you want to review this product? I was actually on Aaron LaBauer's podcast a few weeks ago. Who knows? I might do more review stuff. I might do some tech stuff, marketing stuff. I don't know. I want to help people. And that's why I started YouTube in the first place. So if you have questions, if you have like concerns about the career or anything you're going through, let me know, drop a comment. Maybe I'll make a video on it and we can help you through it. But anyways, that is why I quit being a PTA. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.